There are going to be four Clippers players wide open because Billy Donovan doesn't understand you need backside help. That's why you ice the screen, keep Paul George to the sideline. Now that the pass to Zubak can't get made. Caruso standing and waiting. So you're in your garbage drop coverage here. Look at everyone who's open with no backside help. So Zubox wide open. James Harden's wide open. Terrence Mann's wide open. Kawhi Leonard's wide open. Zubox wide open. No, never, ever, under any circumstances do you go over a handoff. Vucevic is up, jamming the screen and using his body, showing his hands so James Harden can't pull right off it, and Kobe White's going under, meeting Harden on the other side. You have no chance. Like, how are you going to guard one-on-one -on -one like this? James Harden can get in the lane, or he can step back. Nikola Vucevic, you're a center. I know you play for a human pile of trash and Billy Donovan, but could you box out, get low, use your butt to move Zubak out of the paint? You're boxing out with, like, an elbow. So that was easy, and this is easier. OB White, when you switch a screen, you must get underneath the screener. Underneath the screener. Underneath. Why are you not getting underneath the screener here? You're not boxing out now. What even is this Bulls pick and roll defense? Andre Drummond's playing up on the screen, so Javon Carter's got to be going over the screen. And then you want to get all the way up, you want to cut Paul George's dribble off. Backside helps right there with Alex Caruso. What are the Bulls doing? Andre Drummond's like switching, but now Javon Carter's switching back. But like you can't do that. Bulls have no idea how to hedge a screen. Andre Drummond's playing up. You cannot let Paul George turn the corner. You got to cut his dribble off at the point of the screen. If Paul, you backside help right there for Daniel Tice's role. If you let Paul George turn the corner like this, look how many people are open. They got four players open again. This is pure crap. Kobe White is in help right here. Why is DeMar DeRozan in the charge circle? He's going to recover. What you're in the chart, you're doing nothing. So now you're not gonna be able to get out to the corner right here. So now Kobe White, a well-coached defensive team, Kobe White sprints and rotates to the ball about halfway between the three-point line and the ball. So now my, my feet are set, I'm in the gaps, and then I can fly back out. Kobe White's gonna walk into the gap, so you're going towards the ball on the kick out, open three. Alex Caruso, you cannot three quarters the post and gamble without bet. You got to get low, battle for position. You can send a double. But if you three quarters the post here gambling and have no backside help, now you've just given Kawhi Leonard the baseline and no help's going to get there. Clippers are going 1-4 flat here. They're ISOing Kawhi Leonard. So J James Harden's going to move to the corner right here to get rid of Kobe White. This has to be an X out. Alex Caruso's beat right here. X out, X out, X out. Io DeSumo's got to step all the way over and help. Vucevic stays in the corner right there, and he rotates up to Terrence Mann, and Io DeSumo rotates back down to Daniel Tice. But uh, you, no one's getting there. Like you, How poorly coached can the Bulls possibly be? Kobe White just went under a screen. Could DeMar DeRozan stay in the corner? Why are you in the charge circle? What, you're in backside help on nothing. So you're going to be late getting out to Terrence Mann. That's why I would just switch this screen right here. But if DeMar DeRozan's going to go under, he's going to have a more difficult time going under because he's late getting out. Caruso's got to jam the screen or use your body, show your hands, so Terrence Mann can't just pull immediately off the screen and DeMar DeRozan can get under. But you're not jamming the screener, so there's no... DeMar DeRozan's not getting under anything. It's just a three right off the screen. Transition defense. Shot is... You're seeing this shot go up. Kobe White should be back now. Back now. Back now. Back now. Back now. Now I'm I'm not staring at the ball. I'm sprinting to get back. So I'm in help. You're staring at the ball. Kobe White should already be over so DeRozan can force Terrence Mann to the middle of the floor where there's help. But you're late. You have no chance of guarding this handoff when you ignore this down screen. Just switch this down screen. You're not doing anything. How's Io DeSumo supposed to guard this handoff? He's just got screened. You got to know where your help coverages are. This is why you go over it. Paul George is ISOing Io DeSumo right here. So Nikola Vucevic is going to beat Paul George to that spot. DeRozan's going to rotate down to Zubak so that pass isn't made on a drop-off. But Io DeSumo, you, you've got to know this. Show your hands. I'm not falling for any step-backs. I'm just forcing Paul George right into that double team. You're not showing your hands right here. You got your hands on Paul George's stomach. So now he can step off you and never even see that double.
put DeMar DeRozan in an impossible spot because you don't get, oh, you're getting up on the screen. So we got to cut James Harden's dribble off right there. DeMar DeRozan's in backside out, but he can't be there forever. See, you're letting James Harden keep his dribble alive. Now, DeMar DeRozan still has got to stay underneath here. You can't let this lob happen. But why is James Harden dribble still alive in the lane? You, again, don't guard this down screen. I Switch the down screen. You not you get screened again. You have no chance of guarding this handoff again. This is unbelievable. It's a strong side ISO. They're ISOing Kawhi Leonard on Torrey Craig. So Bitim has got to get, oh, this is the easiest double ever. You're forcing Kawhi Leonard to the middle of the floor. Caruso and Drummond have got to stay home because Caruso is going to have to immediately rotate up to Norman Powell. And once that dribble's picked up, Drummond would rotate to Bones Island. DeRozan would come to Daniel Tice and Bitim would come back to Terrence Mann. But you're not doing anything. You're just letting totally good. It's not defense. Bulls keep playing up on these screens, but you're not up enough. I got to cut Kawhi Leonard's dribble off, push him towards half court. Caruso's in backside help right here for Tice's role. But Drummond's not up enough again. You haven't done anything. Who is doubling here? Caruso's going to double. Like you work. So Drummond, stay home on Tice. DeRozan, stay in the corner. Why is Andre, we do not need three people guarding the ball. You're just leaving the middle of the floor wide open. What is Alex Caruso doing? Could we, you're not seeing either ball or man. See ball and man and get your feet set in a defensive stance. You're not seeing either. What are you looking at? What are these ball, what is Batim looking at right here? Focus on the ball. Guard, you're not seeing the ball. Like, get out. You have help. Kobe, DeMar DeRozan, Kobe White, and help. But you're not seeing the ball. You're off balance immediately. <laughs> the Bulls are going to trap here. Wonderful. So we're all the way up cutting Paul George's dribble off. You've got to take Daniel Tice rolling, and then you got to get up and take Bones Highland. You'll leave Norman Powell in the corner. But no one moves. You trap, and now the Clippers have numbers. That was awful. I owe Desumu. I'm not giving up any more space to Kawhi Leonard. Get up, get low in battle, and keep him to the strong side of the floor where your help is. You're playing off, so Kawhi Leonard's in the paint. You're not getting low, forcing him to the strong side of the floor either. The Bulls are doubling the post. Okay, so Alex Caruso, I got to immediately get my back turned with my feet set in a defensive stance. You got to rotate to the ball and guard with urgency. Look at Caruso, just tiptoeing towards the paint, going towards the ball on the kickout. You're not ready to guard. Pump and go drive. The Bulls double Kawhi Leonard. All right. So Desumu's got to rotate to James Harden. DeMar DeRozan's got to rotate to Paul George. Vucevic would deny Zubak. Everyone, we're not worried about Norman Powell two passes away because you can rotate out if a skip pass is made. But you, DeMar DeRozan and Vucevic are standing in the paint. So now once Paul George catches this, Norman Powell's one pass away. And now you can't rotate out of this. This is why you have to jam the screener if you're going under. Vucevic, you got to use your body so Kobe White can cleanly get underneath and be ready to guard. I don't know why you want to go under a James Harden screen anyways. Why can't I hedge? There's no place for Zubak to roll to. Throw a skip pass, easy recovery for Desumu. But because you don't jam the screener, look at how far under Kobe White's got to go. He's never getting on the other side in time. Easy open three now.